Most microphone reviews don't talk about what's important, how they sound. This is not going to be like most microphone reviews. We've got the Comica CVM V30 and the Tackstar SGC598. Both good microphones. Let's see how they sound. Okay, this is me recording into the Tackstar SGC598. I've got a busy construction scene to my left here with the plus 10 dB turned on. Okay, this is me talking at about a normal voice into the Comica ZVM V30. I've got a loud construction project to my left right here. Plus 10 dB booster turned on. And this is what it sounds like with me talking at a normal voice into the Comica CVM V30. I've got a busy construction scene to my left here. I've got a loud construction project to my left right here. This is the Tackstar SGC598, recording in the quietest environment I could find. Also the least reflective environment. There's just lots of soft clothes, there's carpet in here. I thought this would be a good quiet test to get as good of audio quality as I possibly could. Audio levels are the same in here as they were outside in the uh, courtyard next to the construction sound. The plus 10 dB is on. This is the Tackstar SGC598 recording into the A7R2. This is the Comlight Comica CVM V30 microphone recording in the quietest environment that I could find and also the least reflective environment I could find. There's just lots of soft clothes around here and there's carpet on the floor. So this is just me talking into the Comica CVM V30 with the plus 10 dB option turned on. So let's see how it sounds. There's just lots of soft clothes, there's carpet in here. I thought this would be a good quiet test. To get... There's just lots of soft clothes around here and there's carpet on the floor. This is the Tackstar SGC598 and I'm recording next to the aforementioned construction noise. There's a pretty continuous din going on to my right, right there, and I'm just going to move around to see how, how the exclusion of this microphone is. So if I move around this way and continue testing, 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 one, two, three. That's with the noise at about 180 degrees behind the camera, exactly behind the camera. And then this is me just kind of moving around a little bit, just moving around a little bit. And uh, with the noise directly behind me, the din I would expect would be the worst at that point. Hopefully getting better as I kind of move around a little bit. And now the din is exactly to my left. And this is the Tackstar SGC598. I'm testing the Comica CVMB30 microphone next to the aforementioned construction. There's a pretty continuous drone going on over there, and I'm just going to move the camera and microphone around a little bit to see how good the directional exclusion is, to see if that noise is coming into this microphone, depending on how I move around. So this is me testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now the noise is to my left, camera right, maybe, I think. Now the noise is directly behind me. Probably pretty bad there. Hopefully getting better as I move around this way. And at that point, the noise is about 90 degrees that way. And that is with the noise directly behind the camera. This is the Comica CVM V30 next to the aforementioned construction noise. There's a pretty continuous din going on to my right. Next to the aforementioned construction, there's a pretty continuous drone going on over there. And there's a noise directly behind me. Now the noise is directly behind me. Okay, testing the Tackstar SGC598 outside the little local coffee shop. Seeing how it separates my voice from the kind of background din seeing how that happens, seeing how that goes. There's also a little bit of street noise, there's a truck behind me, but not much. Not much. Not as bad as the construction noise, I don't think. So that's the Taxstar SGC598 with the plus 10 dB turned on. Okay, now I'm testing the Comlight v CVM V30 outside the local coffee shop, seeing how well it separates my voice from the general din behind me. 
is that truck that I was talking about just a second ago over there, behind me to the left. Just seeing how this works as I kind of rotate around a little bit. There are people just kind of having normal conversations behind me, mostly coming from that direction, I believe. So I would imagine that the din is worst here, and not as bad here. That's what I would hope for. We'll see in post how much of that it actually separates out. This is the Comica CBM V30. There's also a little bit of street noise. There's a truck behind me, but not much. Just seeing how this works as I kind of rotate around a little bit. So that's the Taxstar SGC 598. So I would imagine that the din is worst here. This is actually a lot tougher than I thought it would be. On the one hand, I really like the kind of warmer sound coming out of the Comica than the Taxstar. I feel like the Taxstar is almost a little cold, a little calculating, but the Taxstar I think has a better noise. And the Taxstar didn't pick up that kind of buzzing in the closet, so I don't know. They're really close. They're both pretty good microphones. And this is just my personal opinion, but I think I like the Tax Star more. Let me know if you disagree. I'm really curious to hear what you think. Okay, thanks.